What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. And today I thought I would take this opportunity to show you guys how to get nice, crisp, clean paint lines between your wall and your ceiling or two adjoining walls and avoid making the mistake that I made and getting the results that I initially got. So keep watching. As part of my ongoing kitchen project, which I'll link to up here where I was painting my kitchen cabinets, I decided to paint the walls and one of those walls leads into my family room. So I thought I would make that like an accent wall in the family room. Now, the issue that I ran into was when I was painting the top of the wall up along the ceiling, I had masked the ceiling off to avoid getting, obviously getting that color paint up on the ceiling. But what I didn't do was take into account the texture of the ceiling. And that led to some of this green paint here getting kind of wicking up behind the tape and getting out of my ceiling. So a trick that I found, which I'm going to show you here, is to, when you mask off the part of the area that you don't want to get paint on, like your ceiling or adjoining wall, is you actually mask the area off, mask off the ceiling, mask off, mask off the adjoining wall, and then you paint that edge of the tape with like the ceiling color or that adjoining wall color. And what that'll do is it'll allow that color to wicking, wick in behind the tape, thereby sealing that edge. And then you can lay your new color on top of that and that'll give you a nice crisp paint line. And I'll kind of show you here what that entails. So after painting this wall yesterday, I found that I had gotten some of the green paint up on the ceiling. And here I've already started kind of trying to trying to fix that issue. What I did was I masked the wall off and then I took some of that white paint on the ceiling and painted along the edge of the masking tape. And that's why there's all this white that is now down onto the green. So what I'm in the process of doing now, let me pan over here, is I am masking the ceiling off. And I'm gonna mask the whole ceiling and then I'm gonna paint that edge of the tape right there with the white paint from the ceiling. Now, of course, it's going to create a lot of, it's going to leave a lot of white paint up on the wall, but the green will cover that no problem. But what that's going to do is allow the white paint to leach up behind the tape and seal that edge. And then when I follow it up with the green, it'll cover the white and it should give me a nice, crisp, clean edge. So let's uh, finish masking. I'll hit it with some paint and then we'll see what it looks like. Now that I've got the entire ceiling masked off, I'm gonna paint right along that edge between the wall and the tape with the ceiling color. And what that'll do is again, that'll seal that tape edge so that when I come up behind it, once that white paint dries and I come up and I follow it with another coat of that green paint, then that edge will be nice and sealed and crisp. All right. Now that I got the edge of that tape painted with the ceiling color, we just wait for that to dry and then we'll follow it up with the, uh, the wall color. The wall color has been applied to the tape line. Let's peel it back and see how it looks. And there you have it. There's one way to get super sharp, super clean paint lines. I know there are other ways to do it, but this is just one way that I found that's fast, simple, and works really well. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see y'all later.